Welcome. Uh, this is a short video on our point-and-click interface, one of the many innovative interface elements that make our software programs faster and easier to use. Um, the legend at the top of the chart, if you click on any point in the chart, this will change to reflect the information of that bar or if you're looking at a candle, a candle. Um, as you move the cursor around the chart, you'll notice that the, in, that the uh, cursor changes depending on where it's located on the chart. Uh, what this reflects is what the action is going to be if you click in that spot. So for example, if you move the cursor underneath the legend, you get a downward facing triangle. If you click once, you will get <clears throat> uh, a small window that opens within the window that shows the current quotes as they change. This is basically the same information that is in the quote monitor uh, reflected directly on the chart so that your eye can focus on what's going on. Um, the time of the last quote, the closing price, net change, percentage net change, high, low, open, volume, uh, the size of the trade, the bid, the ask, bid size, and ask size. Clicking in that same spot, it's a toggle, we'll just put it away. In the upper right of the chart, you'll find the cursor changing to the word set. When you click there, you get the opportunity to set alert for this particular chart. Uh, so you can set an alert for if price goes below or above, what the sounds are that will be made when that occurs, uh, or if you set this to text, you can type in here what you would like to hear when that occurs. You know, uh, Apple breaks down or Apple breaks out or whatever it is you'd like to hear. We'll just speak that text to you. These numbers here, 183, 15, 85, relate to uh, how many shares you own, what price you paid, etc., which we'll get into in another video. The timeline of the chart down at the bottom of the chart here, as you move horizontally within the timeline, you'll see the cursor change. When it looks like a watch, as it does here, if you click, you'll get what the current amount of time per bar is. In this particular case, we're looking at a five minute bar. And you can simply type in a different number like 10, and the chart will change to a 10 minute chart. Uh, over to the right of that, you have a magnifying glass. The magnifying glass changes the zoom level of the chart. Uh, zoom level relates to how much space there is between bars and therefore how much information you can see within the same confined space of the window. So right now the zoom level is 4. If we change it to 6, you'll see that the, the chart spreads out. We see less days but a little more uh, clarity in terms of what's going on. Again, we'll go the other direction, we'll go down to 2, and you can see that we're now covering uh, each of these vertical gray lines is a separation of a day. So, you know, obviously we're seeing a lot more information now. Moving over to the right from there, you have a delta. The delta, if you click, will show what indicators are on the chart. In this case, we don't have any at the moment, uh, but you can check particular indicators. And like, for example, if I check stochastics and uh, uh, trend lines and press apply, then the chart will change to have automatic trend lines and stochastics on the chart. When an indicator is underneath the chart like stochastics, if you move your cursor into this area, into the scale area of the chart, you'll see a check mark. And when you click on that check mark, it will show you what the basic 
smoothing parameter of stochastics is in this particular case. So we could change it and say we want a 20 period stochastics. And you'll see the stochastics has changed from a uh, 13 day to a, or 13 period to a 20 period stochastics. This little triangle right here uh, at the upper right of the oscillator, if you click in there, it will dismiss the oscillator and take it off the chart. All of the changes, like, like the zoom level that we're making here, are temporary changes. They're changes simply to this chart. Uh, if we were to close the chart and reopen uh, a 5 or 10 minute chart of Apple, it would come back to what we've set as our preferred zoom for this particular chart. On candlestick charts, we have a candlestick pattern analysis system. The, you can see that the some of the candles are, are uh, framed in blue instead of the red and black that we've set as a, prefer as a preference. Those are candles where patterns exist. Uh, and when you in, move your cursor to where the uh, X and Y axis meet, it turns into a light bulb. And this is on a candlestick chart only. When you click, it will change it from, in our case, was uh, color only. We can turn the patterns off so that you don't see them at all. And an additional click will turn the patterns to where you can put your mouse down on them and see what the pattern means and what it what it's called you know in this case a bullish bells hold uh, this pattern here is a hanging man uh, way over here we have another we have a bearish belt hold so uh, you can the three ch settings are to see the patterns and their meanings to see simply the patterns identified in terms of color or to have them off completely Um, in the legend itself, when you have the quote up here, if, if you move your cursor on top of the legend, you'll see the word edit. And when you click, you get the opportunity to edit the information for that particular bar or candle. And that is the point and click interface. These are all cursor uh, related. So there are other controls that um, are part of the interface element that we'll cover in a separate video.